Hi, I'm Stuart from Solid Signal, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Signal Scout Signal Meter from Cyber. A lot of S's in that one. I'm glad to have a demo unit, and this is a part that I have to say I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Accurate signal measurement is important, and yet for a long time we've been looking for a signal meter that was reasonably priced, something that prosumers and hobbyists can use that is going to work out well for everybody. And I finally found it with this unit, the Signal Scout SS40 is the model number. This is the unit itself. You get a really nice kind of hard edged ballistic nylon case, it'll hook on it, you get little space in the back where you can put stuff. This is a nice case, but that's not really what you're here to see solid sounding industrial Velcro, right? So this is the meter itself, and I, I'm assuming that the, the case would soften up a little bit with use. This is the meter itself. I'm not going to make any apologies for the color scheme or the overall shape, which to me sound, looks a little bit like a portable television from the 1990s. But it doesn't really matter. It matters how it works. And this unit does, it works. Let's take a look around it. First of all, some nice serious little carrying strap holds. It comes with a nylon carrying strap. Uh, put it around your shoulder if you want to. What you also see is it does come with a little stylus. So if you don't want touching the screen, you can do it that way. But this is just a garden variety stylus. It's honestly, it's probably the least expensive part of the thing. It looks like something I've gotten uh, on eBay for under a dollar. You might be wondering where all the connection stuff is because if you look at it, it's not there little flip up cap which gives you the connection for the antenna it charges over mini usb not the more common micro usb that you find on most phones that don't already have usb c no this is the charging connector you use to charge your razor phone back in 2006 but it doesn't really matter it does come with a mini usb charging cable and that's all you need and it will use any usb charger although it does come with one Let's take a closer look at how the Signal Scout works because it's also a really big step up from previous ATSC signal meters in this price range. In order to get good video captures of this meter, I needed to set the exposure really low so that the screen wouldn't be blown out. And that's why you're gonna see the screen with a lot of black around it. You're gonna spend most of your time in the level screen, which looks like this. Simply use the up arrows and down arrows to go to the right channel, the one that you want to test. Level is shown in dBm, uh, which is always negative, and signal to noise ratio in dB. This is standard. You see that we are using the 8VSB coding method, and it's showing you pre and post error rates as well. There's a built-in 10 dB amp, which is there to just help you acquire. It, you can change it from on to off, but for the most part, you're going to want it to be automatic. You'll notice also a compass in the upper left hand corner which just gives you some idea how to aim. Press the home button to go back to the main screen and you can scan for channels as well. I found this to be somewhat useful but really when I was looking for a channel I was looking for a channel. In my case I know what I'm looking for but this gives you some idea of the spectrum and you can see that it's fairly accurate although when you take it out of the box it is set to scan deep into the cellular bands that is channels 36 and above. This meter can also be used to look at noise levels, which I found a little bit less useful on a prosumer basis. For the most part, you're really only going to go into that setting and the setup, which really you're setting time, you're setting date, you're setting how the compass works. There isn't a whole lot more to that. There are a couple of other screens that you can set, but really I wouldn't go too far into this particular screen. You can upgrade firmware if something like that comes along. But really, more or less, you're going to spend most of your time scanning, looking at levels, as you can see here. The one thing I got to tell you about this particular unit is that it is ATSC 1.0 only. That means it works with today's high definition broadcasts, but it's not going to be able to decode 4K broadcasts in the future. If ATSC 3.0 ever becomes a real thing, then we're going to have to really revise this meter and revise our opinion of it. But who knows when that's going to happen? 
even as late as 2025 using the current metrics, we're still going to have ATSC 1.0 signals to point to. So this meter is going to continue to be a good value for you. You buy it now, you're going to get at least five years use out of it and probably a lot more. Of course, the Signal Scout from Cyber is available now at Solid Signal. Man, that's a lot of S's. I got to talk to somebody about that.